Hey Virgo, what's going on? Hope everything is going well. I was debating whether or not um, to record your reading right now, but I was like, you know what? We're up and at them. Let's just do this, okay? Did Taurus earlier. It's super early in the morning. That's why I was like, ah, should I like go back to sleep for a little bit? So, no. Let's see what's happening. What's happening? Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're new, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Um, I feel like I want to do some more of that. We Okay. <laughs> and happy birthday. Happy Virgo season. All right. Let's get into this, Virgo. Where do I want to start? Hmm. Let's start with the message of love, Oracle deck. Per usual, the message, the intention of the message is to tell you about what I'm seeing in your romantic relationship, but this can resonate for other relationships if it comes through like that, okay? All right, Virgo. Get out of here. <clears throat> Virgo. How is Virgo feeling in this connection? How is Virgo feeling in this connection? Who this is? All right, new chapter. I'm trying to move on. Okay. You also have neglected. I failed to give you what you need and forgiveness. I'm struggling to get over the past. So there is something here that you may feel bad about a relationship you may feel bad about virgo like you you know just like what it says you failed to give this person what they needed or i just get an energy of like maybe some guilt there whoever you're trying to because i feel like you're trying to move on from someone it can be who this is but just in general like what i'm getting with you is you're just trying to move past a relationship, a situation. It may not be romantic, by the way. Um, so you're dealing with that. Okay. And uh, But you're trying. Just like it says, you're trying to move forward. Okay. Uh, show me how is this person feeling in the connection with Virgo. Guilty. I feel pain from the damage I have caused. So whoever this is, very similar to what um, I'm hearing accountability. It looks like you two are both taking accountability for, you know, different things that have happened in this connection. You and your person, I feel, are like mirroring each other and you're... I get reflecting energy like you and whoever this is, you're reflecting on past relationships and you and this person are reflecting on. Mm, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something else that just was coming through neglected. Okay, so. This person feels guilty about whatever they did here, Virgo, in the relationship with you. And a part of you, I feel, is maybe blaming yourself a little bit. I don't know if that, it can be accountability, but it's like you're saying, okay, you're saying to this person, yes, you did that to me, but maybe you did that because of something that I was not doing doing in the relationship you did that for a reason okay and but you're still like struggling to move past it to fully forgive it because yeah now i'm getting like you are you want to start a new chapter with who this is okay Can you please show me how is Virgo feeling? How's Virgo feeling in this connection? Yeah, stabbed in the back. 
heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Okay, hold on. So that could be why this person is showing up with guilty. How is um, this person feeling in the connection with Virgo? How are they feeling in the connection with Virgo? Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past and make memories. Yeah, so whoever this is, is definitely, you know, I get like the six of cups energy. I, f I get like this person feeling bad. You know, they're thinking about what has happened and if a number of you are watching this reading i don't know who this is but for some of you maybe in the past this person did not realize or would not take accountability but i am getting them right now like taking accountability for what happened with you two or even what's happening. I don't know how present or past this is, okay? But this is giving me like kind of, you know, Saturn and Pisces, Saturn being in Pisces. This is an enter this is what I'm picking up with them, okay? Like this person is realizing like they did cause damage to the connection with you, all right? And obviously, you know, the heartbreak, the pain, the, sep the, a lot of you, you could be separated from who this is. And it may have been shocking. Whatever this person did, it like shocked you. It shocked the relationship. Okay. Let me see. How is Virgo feeling in the connection with who this is? Okay, Firefly. So a number of you are feeling... I get optimistic with this, and this goes along with new chapter, the fact that you're trying to move on. Firefly is like a moment of inspiration, too. So a lot of you may feel like this moment of like seizing the moment and communicating, talking with who this is, reaching out. This is feeling inspired. So right now, Virgo, you're feeling inspired to talk to this person. Something about this connection is still, it still like lights you up, okay? You can look at the fireworks, firefly, fireworks. So sparks, I'm getting like, you know, there's some, you're still feeling like some sort of spark here with you and this person. And you do have earthworm. So this is your energy, but, um, because it's earth, right? But earthworm is also someone who is hesitant to open up and express themselves and share. All right. So I see you want to share, uh, even like some sort of idea with who this is. Okay. I de you know, I'm definitely getting a torn feeling with you though. How is, um, Like maybe you just want to reach out and say hi to this person. I'm not sure. How is uh, this person feeling in the connection with Virgo? The dolphin. Wow. Beaver. So all water. So this could definitely be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Okay, hold on. I think, you know, this person is a very, hold on, <laughs> whoever this is, the 
the dolphin in the beaver card is giving me like future energy. Okay. This person is very drawn to focusing on the future. Connecting with like-minded spirits, like-minded individuals. And I kind of get the vibe with them, Virgo, whoever this is, feels like on my journey and on my path at where I'm at right now, they feel like they're on the right path, if that makes sense. Like whoever this is feels like they're on their right path in a very spiritual way. And they're also meeting like different people I'm hearing and, you know, like-minded spirits. So I think what, what I'm getting with them is, and they're also equally like both of you. Um, I remember I got the mirroring type of energy. I get that with both of you because oyster is somebody who is also very hesitant to open up, but very determined. Um, I do get a very determined energy with who this is Virgo. And what they're saying is like, if, um, Virgo and I are meant to continue on this path or are meant to connect. And if Virgo is going to be a part of my future, then Virgo will be a part of my future. They're not like pressing it in any type of way. How is Virgo feeling in the connection with who this is? How is Virgo feeling? The lovers. Wow. Well, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Like you feel as though this is a divine counterpart. You're feeling like, you know, this is, this is the one, this is who, this is your soulmate. This is your partner. Okay. Inseparable is a term I just heard. In love. How is this person feeling? in the connection with Virgo. How are they feeling? Ten of Cups. I think this person is, you know, I'm definitely getting, yeah, the reminiscing energy. I think that they are, you know, hoping for Like they're, they're daydreaming. I feel about what are the possibilities with you two. They're almost like fantasizing about what a perfect, like you two in a perfect world. Okay. I think whoever this is too, Virgo feels like it is possible for you two to be happy together. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting that. Hangman. Yep. Three of Pentacles. I do. I do get that. Like whoever this is. And that was, that's funny because the Three of Pentacles is my, um, beaver card. So I think whoever this is <clears throat> to a degree, they also feel like, again, I do get this mirroring vibe with the dolphin and even the, the lovers this person feels like you all are compatible. 
they're not forcing anything, right? I said that they're not forcing anything. Lots of Pisces energy. Remember, I got the Saturn in Pisces, right? So I think also that they're whoever this is has a new perspective. There it is. They're in this space of like enlightenment about the connection with you two. And I think they're realizing for a number of you in, in maybe an energy of like reminiscing and, and look perception with the hangman and taking on a new perspective. They're looking back and they're saying, you know, Virgo and I, we could work things out. We could, you know, start over. I'm willing to start over. I'm willing to build something or I, yeah, I'm willing to build. I want to build with Virgo. They feel it emotionally for sure. And I think what, but they're, again, they're not forcing it. I don't get like, they're not going to force it. Um, okay. Receptive. That's another thing I'm getting. Like, it's like this person is feeling very receptive to having a good connection with you, having a great, a wonderful, a loving relationship with you. And I do see you in this space here, Virgo, where you're like, okay, let me go present this idea to this person. Let me go talk to them. Cause you're, I think you sense like you and this person feel the same way. Okay. So, all right, Virgo, I'm going to stop this here and I'm going to continue this on part two on Vimeo. So this is what I see right now. And on the extended reading, I'll get into where I see this going next. Okay. Um, what this person wants overall in this lifetime with you, what do they think will happen with you too? I'm going to get the three to six month outcome, what that looks like for you all. And I'm going to pull from the time Oracle deck, give you a timeline of forward movement in terms of whatever you want to manifest with who this is. When do I see that happening? And then we are going to pull advice. How should you be showing up in this connection? I'm going to pull that from the crystal spirits deck and possibly the archetypes deck if needed an animal spirit. Okay. So Virgo, if you feel like that information is going to be helpful, then by all means, come join me on part two. I'll see some of you on the other side. If this is where we part ways, love you all. Be safe. Take it easy. Happy birthday again, Virgo. I'll see you soon. Peace.